Welcome to episode 43 of Making One Bill, starting as a level 3. Today's episode is a wild and wacky one. You're going to want to watch this one all the way to the end. But before today's video begins, I'd like to thank you all for smashing the like goal on the last video, hitting 2,500 thumbs up. I only asked for 2,000, guys. You're too generous. So for this video, I would like to humbly request that we try and smash it and get ourselves to the goal of 3,333 thumbs up on this video. This video took a considerable amount of time to make. Because we're so close to the end of the series now, videos will be more than likely few and far in between. Which is why, if you haven't noticed, to make up for the lack of videos, I have been streaming consistently four to six days a week over on twitch.tv forward slash rakesy. So if you guys feel like the videos are taking too long, you can come and drop me a follow and watch me live. And I have to say, I'm very thankful to all of you for being so understanding and patient while the videos are coming out, so thank you. With that being said, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, leave the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. As you guys can see, we are in Mortania, and I'm heading towards old T.O.B. And hopefully, after our putrid cockslug, what do we get? No way. This has to be a joke. 197 raids and I've had three din boards in my name. We might actually get another decent item from T.O.B. Radio boys. The trio T.O.B. Yeah, and we get a purple. Not dirty. Man, that loot is so good. How much was that chest? One mil. 1.1 mil for basic loot from a T.O.B. chest. That is incredible. 67 rune ore. There we go. Reading with two sides and your boy, Serpentine Bissell Tentacle, is the MVP. That is what I like to see. That point once again. Membership runs out in one day's time. I'm going to purchase a bond preemptively. Oh my god, is that really only 4 mil? 4.2 mil. Oh, that's so good, man. 4.2 mil for 14 days membership. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to throw that there. And I'm going to go back and do some solo Cox raids. We just got an onyx from Tekton. Wow. Does anyone know the drop rate on this? That's the second one I've had. That's really, really cool, man. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Onyx. I'll take it. 199 solo raids. How much is that? 300k. That's not bad. I see no purple. Unfortunately not. Is there a purple? Not. Today. Do we get a purple this run? Is there a purple? I can't see anything. I don't think there is. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Four death raid, boys. What do you reckon? These are the raids you get purples on. Do not be surprised if there's a purple. Let's have a look. Anything? Wow, we didn't actually get one. Recently, Jagex have moved a ornate mall handle to the last man standing store, which was previously in the bounty hunter shop. So I decided to check it out. Right, I think this is a win, boys, not gonna lie. That's the American world lag, it's actually gross. Oh my goodness. Did I just get one HP by that, like, 60 Warhammer? Good fight, dude. That's the first win on fat checks. I get 10, 7 points. That's not bad. 7 points for a win. How much is this more handle? 15. So, I actually, I'm gonna make myself 500k in one more fight. That's actually really good. I could easily come here and make myself a bond in a couple of hours, and it's fun. I have 17 points total now. I wanna buy one of these, and I wanna see how much this ornate handle is worth. That costs 15 points. How much does this sell for? 652k. That's actually not bad. How much does this sell for? 685k? Jesus. That didn't take long at all to get. And that's a nice 685k profit. That's actually not too bad. And I think you get 7 points for winning and 5 points for coming in second place. That's pretty good. Free man 30kc. Is there going to be a purple? Sadly not. If this is a big Warhammer hit, not the level. Oh my god, how much XP? 130, and I'm just going to get it by whipping him. One more hit. There we go. 96 attack, boys. Very, very nice. Woo! Actually only 35k until level 91 defense as well. And when we hit that, 
we have hit the big 120 combat. The scary numbers, boys. You're telling me not only am I getting points for the R8 malls, and I can buy another one. Holy shit, I also have 350k in there. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm liking the look of that. Slowly, 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 slowly. What? Not today. I don't really know how to feel. Or think. It just says meow. Shit's getting a bit weeby and kinky here on old school RuneScape. Right, I might as well finish the rest of the quest, though. I actually look like such a dweeb, I swear to God, man. What is this? Why have they done this to my lovely game? <laughs> the fuck? I've decided I'm just gonna keep the 500k or, like, any of the cash money I get. Just leave it straight here. And then for the points for now, I think I am gonna buy myself the ornate handles uh, and just keep them in the bank and sell them off when I have, like, a bunch of them. Is there something here? Rip. No purple. Unfortunately, 38 raids. Did we get the little zick though? Ooh, that's good. 700k loot. 56 runite ore. That's beautiful. Hello. I wasn't expecting to see that right there. Look at that. 91 defense. And I believe we are now 120 combat, boys. Look at that. We are officially in the 120 club welcome me to the 120 club that is actually sick man 120 like i don't even know if they've noticed yet they're too used to being one two sixes your boy just got level 120 combat thank you <laughs> do we get a purple no we have joined almost what looks like a cox mass right now and we're going to be four-way splitting it. We got an alt there, but I'm assuming these are the three that I'm going to be splitting with. I honestly don't know if this is going to be worth it because Cox items are incredibly cheap. If we get the T-Bow, we're in the money. But aside from that, I mean, Ancestral's 50 mil piece. Dextra Scrolls, 40 mil. This will be interesting. What do we get? Oh, there actually was a drop as well. A Dextra Sparrow Scroll. Oh, that's awesome. I think that's like, that's a 10 mil split. We are splitting four ways and I believe that's 40 mil. Not bad at all. I think the last time I checked, it was about 40 mil. Is it under 10 mil? Oh, there we go. That's perfect. That's fine. If that was under 10 mil, under the green cash stack, I'd have been upset. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into platinum tokens, throw them into the loot tab. And as you can see, the loot tab's 27 mil right now. And with that 27 mil, I can actually go ahead and buy myself some Bandos Tacids. So I'm going to have max strength, minus two minor details for killing TOB. That's awesome. I got 25,000 points. Oh, back to back. The ancestral robot. And holy shit, man. Why am I even solo in this thing? Why am I not just doing this with groups of people and getting drops back to back? Yes, we're going for the triple back to back. Let's do it. Do you know how many solos I had to do to get my first drop? Let me just get a back to back like that. My goodness. How much is the ancestral bottom right now? Let me price check this. That was a four man split again. Holy that's a good split. You just made 25 mil in an hour. 15 mil on the dot, man. Holy crap. Jesus, this is so much easier than doing solos and so much more profitable as well. I don't even know why I started doing solos. Look at this. 42 mil right now. It wasn't triple back-to-backs, but we did get the back-to-back. -back. Not bad, not bad. Isn't that so cute how there's like one leaf on that wand? It's honestly like, all she needs now is the farming pet to be following her and the third age druid. And she will actually be like one with nature. Anyways, I am going to take my platinum tokens and we have got ourselves a whopping 31 mil. It is time to make the purchase. The Bandos Tacits, where are they? 28.4 mil. Slap the offer in. There we go. And we now have max strength with the Bandos Tassies and we no longer have to do TOB with Ancestral Bottoms. The next goal on this account for me right now is I want to make myself a huge upgrade to my Dragon Defender. I'm going to buy myself the Avernic Defender Hilt. This item right here is the next goal on the list. It is effectively the last buyable significant item that I'm going to have to purchase on this account. The last financial upgrade we can make outside of Rigor augury and having to get any of my skills up with money and as you guys can see the bank right now we're almost 800 mil we're incredibly close to actually finishing what we set out to accomplish as an unexpected level we can now cut you trees so if you guys haven't already been able to tell there are a lot of clips that don't make the video which is basically me going almost two weeks with getting zero drops 
in my name. And unfortunately, when this happens, a lot of the clips, I just don't even bother putting it in the video. So here is just a very small little montage of all of the times I received a white light and no purple from any chest. But hey, it's all good. It gets better. Floorman C.O.B. Is there going to be a purple? Please break the dry. Yes, there's a purple. Finally. Holy shit, man. It's been so long. I honestly don't care what it is. I just give me something. Rapier would be really nice. A verdict defender. Okay. That is not a bad drop at all. I believe that's an 80 mil drop. So we're getting around about 20 mil each. Okay, 19.5 bill. Bill? Mill? <laughs> 19.5 mil? Ain't too shabby, man. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And the current cash stack is 86k. Not bad at all. The back-to-back -back dream. Can it happen? No, it can. Oh, damn. That looks like good loot. That's 800k. I'll take it. This is my very personal best. Holy shit, that's a 25-minute solo. Rightio, boys. This is our 50th TOB. Easy purple. 50 raids in 50 TOBs. I have never had a purple in my name. Is there a purple? There is not. No purple, sadly. Cloud gets MVP. Is there a pet lurking inside of my chest is the question. There is not. I am very upset. No purple, no pet. 50kc, no white in my name. I feel like I'm pretty dry at this place as well. I'm not recording. I'm such a noob. All right. I think it might be Wekfuses. Good luck. Just to complete legs. That's not bad at all. I have no idea what the price is on that. I think it's like 20 mil. I think we're about to get about a 5 mil split from those legs. Holy. 4.6 mil for just to Oh, they're so cheap. It's horrible. <laughs> That was close. <laughs> okay, boys. 100 points. Let's buy some ornate handles, I reckon. And in here right now, we have 1.1 mil. I will take that as well. Here goes nothing, boys. This is all of my ornate handles going in the GE. Oh my god, they insta sell. How much do they sell for? 878k plus the 1.6 mil we've got from last man standing wins. That's a very healthy 7.7 .7 mil uh, just for playing last man standing. Quite impressed with that. Not gonna lie. Please give me a purple today. Purple, please. Oh my god, we got a purple holy shit boys we actually got a fucking purple oh oh that makes me so happy we actually got some oh my god oh my god oh my god we got the pet holy fuck what the hell <laughs> we got the fucking pet Holy shit. Oh my days, we got the pet. Look at him. Look at his tail. Look how epic he looks. Oh my god, the mighty omelet. I love him. I love him. Holy shit, we just got the pet. Imagine if it's the, uh, what, what do they call the T-bow and the, uh, the pet? Oh, they call it a bowler when you get a twisted bow and an omelet in one drop. If this is a Din's bulwark... I will not be that upset. My fucking god, I can't believe we actually got the pet. I had no idea either. Actually, no clue. I'm so nervous, man. I'm so nervous if this is actually... It. Imagine if this was a twist. Dude, if... It, oh. All right, let's just fucking open it. What do we get? Oh, okay. That is not bad at all, man. A dexterous prayer scroll. That is not bad at all, guys. 226 raids. Dexterous prayer scroll. And the omelette. And a sub-30 raid. Holy shit, that is not bad at all. Lovely. That's such a relief. I'm actually so friggin' happy that I've got the pet. Let's pick it up. What does it look like in the... Oh, it's just the almighty omelette. Long old time since I've had to insure a pet. There we go. My insurance fee is 500k. Hell yeah, man. 
God, that looks so good. And we actually got a good drop with it as well. That makes me so happy. I've never had this pet and I've always wanted it. I kind of feel like I need to try and get the dust now. That's absolutely sick. We've ensured the old omelette. It is time now to sell the dexterous prayer scroll. Let's see how much this goes for. Hopefully it goes for 42. How much did it sell for? 42 mil. Not bad at all. We have a 65 mil cash stack. And there is a very, very big upgrade that I want to make. I think I'm going to go ahead right now and sell off the remainder of the loot tab. And then I should hopefully have enough to be able to upgrade this little bad boy. 21 million and 450k from just the loot tab alone in herbs, rune ore, all of those little bits and bobs. Combining that with the 65 mil I have, we have a whopping 86 mil cash stack. And with that cash stack, you may be asking, Rexy, what are you going to do? And this is exactly what I'm going to do. Now, I've kept an eye on the price of this over the last couple of days. About a week ago, this was worth 85 mil. So if it buys for 78, and it did. I'm a very, very happy boy. That is an incredibly good price. So, the Dragon Defender. You might be wondering why I've done this. Is it necessary for me to do this in order to make one bill? No. It's not necessary. But as somebody in my Twitch chat pointed out, having a Infernal Cape with a Dragon Defender is the equivalent of having a Cypher Virtue with a Fire Cape. And it is time that I upgrade this look once and for all. Melee Strength plus six. Alrighty, yep. There it is. The Averic Defender. Look how beastly that thing looks. And with the Infernal Cape. It does look a lot better. I'm not going to lie. We get two extra strength plus, And I'm pretty sure we get some extra stuff up here. But there it is. Oh my god. That is a very, very expensive upgrade for a max hit right there. Let's have a look at how it looks with gear. And here we go. This is how we look now with the upgraded Avernic Defender. It goes with the Bandos. It does not stand out at all. The only upgrades we can make now to our strength bonus is obviously getting the upgrade on the Barrow Gloves. Oh god, we look absolutely balling with the omelette in the background as well. Holy shit, man. This account is an actual beast. We now have the best in slots. Nobody can make fun of my Dragon Defender. And the bank right now is just under 775 mil. Meaning that we are 225 mil from completing the goal. And there you have it, guys. That will conclude episode 43 of making one bill starting as a level 3. I did tell you. It's going to be a roller coaster this one. To summarize, we ended up going almost two weeks dry of getting any rare uniques in my name and very few purples from TOB and from Cox. As a wise man once said, it pays to be patient. I don't know if he actually said that, but I'm saying it. And it worked out. We managed to get ourselves a dexterous prayer scroll with the omelette pet. And with that money, we were able to upgrade the dragon defender into the Avernic Defender. And now, my account is almost whole. Almost. Because there's still one glaring upgrade needed on my account, which I will tackle in the next episode. With that being said, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon, you bunch of sexy motherfuckers.